I have been meaning to talk about matchy matchy gear versus a mismatch of gear and the philosophy and ideas behind that. We've been talking about it as a group for a long time and uh, I think it needs some attention. So as I'm getting ready to ride and we're in the staging area and I look around and our whole crew are getting ready, it's nothing but a disastrous mismatch of gear and knee braces over jeans. I am too sexy for my land, too sexy for my land, New York and Japan. I am too sexy for your party, too sexy for your party, the way I'm disco dancing. I am a man in the world, and I do my turn. I don't know, like, although we have access to all this gear and brands that we can wear, nobody in our group seems to choose to go matchy-matchy, although it's, it's at our fingertips. So I'm wondering, like, is it economic? Which I think does have play a, a role in it. No one around us has a whole lot of money, so it's more difficult to just buy new matchy-matchy top-of-the-line gear and keep it clean and organized. Is it a philosophy or is it conscious? It's hard to say. My personal philosophy is about earning the reward. So I don't know if we're from a, like I say, economically depressed family when we were young, but it was always about you get the hand-me-down gear, you get the second-hand gear, you get everything that anyone would loan you, you beg, borrow, and steal, and then you get a, sort of a kit to do whatever particular sport that you were engaging in at the time. But that evolved into like, the pride and appreciation of when you become better at that particular sport, then and only then do you deserve to get better gear. So, I don't know, that, that might play into our, our group's philosophy. Not entirely, because it's quite of a quite a group of accomplished riders that are around us. So then I thought, well, shit, like, is this... They're acutely aware of the humbling experience of riding a dirt bike. Uh, we talked about this in another video. You may want to reference about the humble, naked dirt rider. Uh, it's simply the concept of you cannot ride a dirt bike in front of your peers and be anything other than what you are. So you can't fake being better than you are. So the idea of maybe a matchy-matchy situation is projecting a message that you're a pro or a pro-level rider or an expert-level rider and 10 minutes into the ride as we're climbing that super steep first hill that we always seem to choose badly, you cannot fake it. So. The matchy-matchy message of the trailhead or the staging area is, quickly becomes in conflict with your actual riding skill. So maybe it's about humility, making us subconsciously choosing a mishmash of, of mixed up gear. The other thing about the matchy-matchy, I know this is a stereotype, the matchy-matchy rider in the parking lot typically is not an experienced dirt rider. And maybe it's because they have not yet been humbled uh, to the point of humility. And they don't understand the message in the trailhead and then what happens on the trail is just is not in alignment. Uh, now there's a flip side to that too, um, which is the matchy matchy rider with clean white boots. And then you go into the trailhead and they're so unbelievably skilled and so smooth and so experienced and clearly an expert was we were lucky enough to spend time with Colton Haker who is a Southern California boy, hard enduro guy, a super enduro like a enduro cross champion. We had this argument in front of Colton and Colton was all about matchy matchy and his gear was perfect and his boots were always clean and it was always very crispy and you know he was the epitome of what a pro rider should look like. 
His argument was, when I look good, I feel good, and when I feel good, I ride good. And, you know, that shows in his riding, so it's hard to argue. Um, it's obviously a personal choice. And maybe that's why we're so bad, because we don't wear matchy matchy gear. It's an interesting dynamic, and it's an interesting choices people make, and I suspect that you guys have a similar situation in your riding group. Some guys wearing matchy-matchy, some guys wearing, you know, just shit they just pulled out of the dirty laundry basket an hour earlier. Yeah, so if you guys want to leave a comment, it'd be very interesting. We read every single comment all the time, so I'd love to hear what you guys are taking as your personal riding group and uh, what the philosophy is between matchy-matchy and mishmash.